Hey guys, I'm Fatskiller here. Just want to remind you guys to check on the description and read the information on what gameplay I'm going to do for this series, The SS Human Revolution. That's all. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, we are back on part 19. I found the Alice Garden pot. Now we need to find the 301 pot. Hello. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay, okay, chill, chill next. Ooh, they have a restaurant here. Oh my god, there's a lot of people talking here. Alright. Don't mind me standing on your stove. I'm not getting burned, okay. Hello. Nice. Impressive, okay. Knock knock. I'm looking for a pot 301. Yes, yes. Beds on second and third floor. Showers and laundry in basement. You want a pot? No, I'm looking for 301 and pot. No air conditioning. Broken. You got air vent to ventilate the place though. Not so bad. So, how long you want? One month? Two months? No, never mind. <laughs> I don't need a pot. I need to find a guy. Good God, stop lagging. Hi, oh, oh, okay. Sure, why not? Yeah, what? Jensen. Oh. I, I was on my way out. What are you doing here, Malik? I told you how I got this one. I know, it, I didn't do anything. Trust me, Van Bruggen's all yours. Hang on a second. Something's wrong. What is it? Why are you here? It's nothing. I mean, can't a girl have secrets? Hmm. No. Of course, but I can tell something's bothering you. And I'm concerned. What's going on? I just... I just had to look into something. For a friend. She... She deserved better. I'm listening. Fine, since you're so damn curious. <laughs> Years ago, I used to live here, remember? My friend, my best friend, Evelyn. She was like a sister to me. Made living here fun. But then there was an accident. She. She's dead. I'm sorry, Malik. Wait, Jensen, let me finish. I thought I was okay with it, but I know. I know she didn't just die. She was killed. Murdered. Her damn scumbag boyfriend did it. I know he did. I knew he was trouble right from the start, but she just wouldn't listen to me. Malik, easy. If your friend was murdered, the police would have suspected something. They would have investigated. That's just it. There was no investigation. They said she fell down a flight of stairs like it was some kind of freak accident. But her wounds, the way she died, they don't add up. It's right here in the damn blood spatter analysis. Blood spatter? You've seen the police report? Yes. A friend left a copy of it in a pod here for me to pick up. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but I think... I think there's been a cover-up. I just have to prove it. If I could get my hands on the autopsy report, the one that never surfaced, I know I'd get the truth. Except... Why do I suspect I'm about to get dragged into something? <laughs> of course. Jensen, I'm sorry. I know Van Bruggen is the priority here. And I told you it was my business and I could take care of it. It's just... The more I think about it, the more I realize I'm in over my head. I'm just a pilot. I'm not a damn cop. But I need to know the truth. Okay... Detail. Um, I mean the test, not a reward. This autopsy report, once you got your hands on it, what were you planning on doing next? I... I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm a pilot, not a cop. But I just... I felt I had to do something while I had the chance. Maybe once you get the report and we know what it says, we can... improvise. Okay. Sure, why not improvise on every single stuff where we do this kind you of... You've seen the police scary, report. dangerous okay, mission. An old friend who was also a good friend of Evelyn's. He used to work for the Shanghai PD. He left a copy of it along with a few other things concerning Evelyn in a pod here for me to look at. He also left some instructions on how to contact someone at Lim for the autopsy report he's convinced was intentionally buried. Why would Lim have anything to do with Evelyn's autopsy report? Well, if you haven't noticed, the Chinese government has been outsourcing branches of its public services for years. Bell Tower polices the streets and nowadays Lim does more than just cosmetic surgery. They're often contracted for special cases like Evelyn's. And what made Evelyn's case so special, you think? 
her boyfriend, Lee. He was at the scene. He had Evelyn's blood on him and tested positive for alcohol and drugs in his system. With his rap sheet, it wasn't looking good for him. But his family, they're on a lot of boards with deep pockets and a lot of reach. They wouldn't suffer the embarrassment of having their son indicted on a suspected murder charge. Mm, okay. Why do you suspect Evelyn's boyfriend had something to do with her death? Because he was poisoned, right from the start. Born into money and influence, but never once assuming responsibility for anything. I don't think he's worked an honest day in his life. So he was a wealthy, pig-headed asshole. If that was reason <laughs> enough to accuse someone of murder, half the world would be in the pen. No, there's more to it than that. He's known for violent outbursts, domestic altercations. He nearly killed a kid over some stupid gambling feud. The problem is, his family made him untouchable, even to the police. And Evelyn was okay with all of this? She... always tried to see the good in people, give him the benefit of the doubt. You could say that's just being naive or even stupid, but I think she was just... innocent. Tell me about Evelyn. She was beautiful, carefree, loved to have a good time. I met her during my internship for a private transportation and logistics firm here in Shanghai. She was a great pilot too, knew how to feel the currents, to push the bird just so. Too bad her two talents for reading the wind didn't translate to reading guys. How so? She was always getting into trouble with the wrong crowds. And it always had to do with some boy. She knew I didn't like him, her boyfriend at the time, Lee. It drove a wedge between us, and when we parted ways, it wasn't amicable. I understand. She was a good girl, Jensen. She deserved better. Okay. So, I'll accept it. Okay, okay, I'll help. What do you need me to do? My lead, he works for Lynn. He's a systems technician who apparently has access to their entire database. He's willing to hand over a copy of Evelyn's autopsy report. So you want me to meet him and get the report? Is that it? Yes, but he'll only respond to a certain phrase. Death and life have their determined appointments. To which he'll reply, riches and honors depend upon heaven. Christ, Malik, this is starting to sound like something out of a bad spy movie. I know. He's just trying to protect himself. I didn't pick the damn quote. So just play along and remember the line, okay? You'll find him inside the lobby of the Lower Hengshaw Lim Clinic. Does this guy have a name? <sighs> None that I know of. But he apparently goes by the handle Anonymous X. I know, I know. Anonymous X. Okay, anything else? Yeah, before I forget, everything concerning Evelyn's incident, newspaper articles, the police report, limb details, it's all inside pod 009 here in the hotel. You should read over everything if you can. Pod 9, got it. I need to go. Contact me with any updates and thank you. I really appreciate this, Jensen. Okay. Right. Try to explore this area. Okay, um... I'm circulating a petition to have two women on the second floor of the West Wing evicted. Will you sign? It's very obvious they're involved in prostitution. Okay. Okay, where are sign? Okay, um, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, looks like I need to, I need to explore every single level of this area. But what I could just do right now, I was planning to like do off camera. But it's so cool. Just the one. Fly the oh shit! Fly the the lean contract has agreed to meet you tonight. I don't know how large or small this window of is, how long it will remain open to us. But it's the only thing we have to go on. Hopefully, we can trust him. He holds the biggest piece of this puzzle. I'm sorry, I can't be any more help on this. As much as it's been me to see Lin's walk, my hair not tie. If my supervisor found out I was even talking about this, he have my badge. Okay. There's a copy. Oh, there's a copy of the police report. Blah 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 blah. Case. Uh, oh, only witness is boyfriend who was found at the scene. Injured several head trauma. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Oh my god, that's a lot of stuff to read. You guys can pause if you don't want to read. Basically, it's telling the story how did she die, I guess, and the odd, I think it's the whatever, the police investigation thing. How to win Mahjong? Okay. Mm. It's so cool, but it's kind of small. Hi. Shut up. I'm looking to the port because there's sometimes, yeah, there's sometimes there's a credit inside it or a ammo, I guess. So I could sell the ammo and ammo weapon to get some money. Yeah, you can, you, I can use the money to buy something else. Mm. Hi. <coughs> um, no, thank you. I'm looking for credits. Do you have some? Oh, yeah. Or wine. <coughs> oh, shit. I have a hiccups now. Oh. What's this? Oops. Judging my ammo of dust that has been. I forgot the access code to my office door. Office door. Oh, the room division management. Oh, okay, it's the office below level one. Is it? Ooh, credits on the couch. And a classic day six theme song from the game. Oh. All right, I think I'm done here. Time to go to the second floor. Wait, I haven't even explored here. Did I explore here? Sorry guys, if this video is more of exploring at the port area. Yeah, mama. Okay. Hmm. Mm. Thank you. Yes, I'm American. I mean, uh, Adam's American. I'm not. I'm Asian. I'm from Singapore. Hello. There's nothing else here. This mission has been not oh, has been not be sent, my dear man. Uh, Australia is wonderful. Someday you will come with me, and I'll be sure to set up my room. I'll be very much that will be blah 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 blah. blah. Oops. Uh huh. The whole time stay is a big and beautiful. The people are so good. So good. Blah 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 blah. No, so lots of love. Your father. Oh. Okay. Let's go here. There's nothing here. I was hoping I'd get a uh, skill point for exploring. But nope. 
it's not happening. Wait, I'm going down? The hell? Oh, okay. Great, now we need to go back up. The explore at the second level, now I'll go for the third level. Okay, I'm not going to that area because that's the main quest. I need to do the side quest first and explore this area. So the guy in Capsule 143 left his pod door open. Yeah, so I couldn't help but sneak a look inside. He has so much stuff lying around. It's incredible. I could have snatched an Eve over too. What a hell back. No credits. Hi. You didn't see me stealing the credits. Okay, this is getting boring. I know it's getting boring for this part of the video, but yeah, this is why exploring is gonna be boring. But sometimes when you explore, you get some rewarding like this a weapon or oh, credits or oh, some clues to a, 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 a code to a room. You never know. But I now have a lot of money away. 6,000. Nice. You don't belong here, stranger. Oh, Janet. Shut up. I like to have a dream. Shit, I'm drunk. No, I'm not wrong here. I'm from Detroit. My name is Adam Jensen. Excuse me. Oh, hello. I can get that because I'm full. Yes, yes, I know. You want me to get out of this place? Whatever. I have a mission. I need to complete my mission. Ooh, there's a lot of credits around here. I think I'm done. Alright, time to go down. Hey, okay, I need to get out from here. Out of this place. Need to go to the limb clinic to find that anomalous X. Oh wait, before that. Got this code. Oops. Okay, let me save. I didn't save for quite a while. Let me close the door, just in case. Ah, oh, what do you hide here? Access granted. Okay. Uh, get away. It's kind of like telling a bit, a bit of story around this area. So there's nothing much actually. There's no like secret code to save. Oops. Okay. Wait a minute. No 
Okay. Okay, this one I read it before. Oh wait. Ooh. Ah, oh, this is the login and password. God damn it. But never mind. I see a safe just now. Hang on. My diary. Was that you guys wanna read? No, I need, wait, I need to have this. Really? Yeah, fine. Hey, uh... Well, so much for style. Wait, I just ah, uh, not my. Just be something. Access denied. Oh. Oh shit. Excuse me. I've got your back. <laughs> Where are you I'm going? So well. Show yourself. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Oh, that was worth it. Man, there's a lot of credits there. Okay. Where's the freaking door? Oh, stop lagging! Ah. Start to get annoyed by this stupid lag. Alright, get out of this place. Alright, we're at the limb plane now. Trying to find this anonymous X. But before that, come on. You need practice software? Neuropodine? Something else? Look at computer. I want the practice. Thank you. I'm good. You're very welcome, sir. Okay, are you the one? Can't you see I'm busy? Go bother someone else. Hey. Oh shit, impression. Nice hat, I'm here for <laughs> Death and life. What was it? Death and life have their determined appointments. What? Oh, uh, and riches oh. and oh, honors thank God. depend upon heaven. I forgot, I forgot that thing. Right, what now? Shh, they have eyes and ears everywhere. Meet me outside the clinic. Turn left from the front and go down the stairs. I'll be waiting at the corner. Yeah, okay. That's it. Now I need to go out again. Seriously. Ah, the things that I have to do to get the mission done. Okay, we are back and I got the stupid bug again. It's annoying. Okay, I have to meet this guy here. What? What's wrong? Oh my god. Okay guys, I got a bad news. Oh god. Can you hear the the, the the music? Yeah, there's something wrong with this game. And I can't seem seems to activate this sequence here. See I'm trying to press anything. Yep. It's dead. So oh my god what's this? So you know what, I'm gonna skip this 
side quest. I'm sorry to say, it's, I have to skip this side quest. I have to skip this one because it's because of this bug. It's destroying the gameplay. So yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna end my video here. I'm Fast Killer. Signing off.